A very good afternoon from here in the centre of Gibraltar. This evening we're going to take a stroll around Gibraltar. A very good morning from here in Gibraltar. A very good morning guys from here in Casemate Square. So, very good afternoon guys from here in the Almeida Botanic Gardens. And I think this is going to be one of the best places to start our new series for 2024. Now our main series of the year will be us going around rating every single tourist attraction here in Gibraltar. And today we're starting off with the Almeida Wildlife Conservation Park. So come join me. And yes, for you, those who didn't know, Gibraltar does have a zoo. So come on, let's take a look. So here we are, very exciting. The first episode of the new series of 2024, guys, as we arrive here at the Almeida Zoo. So let's take a closer look. So we've made our way into the Almeida Wildlife Park. Entrance was £8 today and yeah, so far so good. It's a beautiful day. There's quite a few people floating around. So let's go and take a look at the park. Come join me guys. We can see our first exotic animal there, guinea pig. Well, not very exotic, I'm sure a lot of people are very used to them. But yeah, very nice to see all the same. But can we make out the common snapping turtle here in the lake? If you can't, obviously, pause the video. But yeah, now let me explain as we're watching these tamarind monkeys, I think they're called, or marmosets, one or the other. Um, let me explain how this series is going to work. So it's going to be exactly like last year with the Gibraltar Beach Review 2023. We're going to go to several locations across Gibraltar that cater for tourists that are big tourist attractions for the territory. And we're going to go through and I will ask you all to vote for your favourite one. And then towards the summer we'll be able to determine which tourist attraction is Gibraltar's best. But let's get back to the animals and look at this marmoset here. I think they're so sweet. I love their little faces. It's just brilliant to see so many different animals in such a small space. We've even located the bat house, even though the camera shots really ain't that great. So this place is turning out to be full of secrets. I wasn't aware there was a bat house there and we could see the bats, although I don't think the camera caught it so well. And as you come through, you discover more animals. Now, from the reviews I read online, they only said they had a couple of animals or people said that visited the place. There's only a few animals here, there's not much to see. But there is so much to see here, so many animals. So let's continue on with our walk. Come join me, guys. So there we are, we can see a lemur over there, prigging itself. A lemur's one of my favorite animals. We've also got a massive pot belly pig here that live uh, got here in the zoo. Now these monkeys, they look very similar to the monkeys we have in Gibraltar. We've got our local Spurthai tortoises here which you can find in southern Spain and Morocco. But let's go back to those monkeys because the tortoises are the monkeys. They are adjacent. Look, this is so cute though. You've got a, oh, the little, little turtle and the big turtle. Yeah, so very great to see their little project they've got here including local reptiles but as i was saying let's get back to the macaques here now yes they are macaques but they're not the macaques that you find here in gibraltar these are long-tailed monkeys now these come from indonesia and apparently these guys were intercepted before they went off for laboratory testing if you don't know what that is uh, yeah google it it's pretty terrible but yeah so nice to found nice to see they found a lovely home here in Gibraltar and you've got an aviary full of African grey parrots and we've got close to this one here I used to have an African grey parrot when I was uh, younger well my father did but yeah he living in the house and one day flew away so yeah funny story about the parrot but growing up with them you realise how intelligent these animals are and they can mimic over 2,000 sounds and noises so yeah Probably could learn more words than an actual human. We can see the blue and yellow macaw, if I'm correct here, and another fantastic parrot species they have. So we can find a large variety of animals here. Every turn you get shocked and you see more animals that you didn't expect you'd see here. 
absolutely fantastic place. We're going to keep pushing on now and see what else we can see here. But yeah, definitely re recommending this place, absolutely. So we can see our local macaque here, the Barbary macaque. Now I know they keep a couple of the naughty ones down here that they don't want to be with the troop, either that or maybe the sick ones. But let's make our way through this secret passage here. We've found something brilliant. So for me, this is the best part of the wildlife park. It's the lemurs walk through. And there's so many other different animals you can find here and get up close to. Now we always like to get close to the animals when we're filming them it's absolutely fantastic here it's surprising how many enclosures they've managed to fit in such a small place but come on let's take a final look around before they'll have to close up and we'll have to leave but yeah come join me so these guys are the lemurs ring-tailed lemurs and they are turned into one of my favorite animals at the moment we had a up close experience with them when we visited Castellar Zoo last year if you haven't seen that video already check it out but we can see a couple of parrots there we've got some more shots here of the lemur I think they're absolutely fantastic beautiful animals and yeah brilliant to see here in the center of Gibraltar we've got to remember that this park is in the center of Gibraltar the Alameda Gardens are right here right close to the Rock Hotel so really convenient if you're staying by the Rock Hotel or anywhere in town area really but we can see a beautiful peacock here and we've got some more shots of the ring net parakeet here now we were in London I don't know if you've seen the video when we visited the town of Beckenham and we got to see these birds in the wild actually nesting but it's even cooler to get up close to them here and they're very very tame it didn't mind us at all and just very 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 sweet birds you know the there was one ring-tailed and then there was a couple of amazon parrots although i weren't sure exactly which species they were but you can see this massive tortoise and this little turtle here as we enter the reptile house and yes this place even has a very small reptile house absolutely fantastic at the stuff we're finding and we can see the long tail macaques now they're either eating out this newspaper or playing with the newspaper i'm not exactly sure what they are doing got a couple of amazon parrots here and for me this was the sweetest thing the sugar glider they were very difficult to spot We've got more snakes here as well. I think this is an albino corn snake. As we make our way up the path and head towards the exit. Because it says on Google they shut at half three. And we're leaving this place about half four. So it was nice to get the extra time in here. We say goodbye to the welcome rabbit. And guys, if you want to pause, this is the admissions prices. So what a way to kick off the first episode of the first series of 2024. What a fantastic tourist attraction we have found here at the Almeida Wildlife Conservation Park. And I'm really pleasantly surprised and I do recommend this to absolutely everybody who's coming to Gibraltar. Maybe you're coming with kids and they don't really want to walk around the Moorish Castle or the more traditional tourist attractions this is absolutely perfect it's a brilliant way to keep them entertained but for me here in the Almeida Park thank you for watching as always and I'll see you all on the next adventure